I gotta hand it to you, Marduk. You're looking good today. <laughs> Hello, this is an update video for Marduk. As with the last video, I demonstrated Marduk's uh, new little mitten. You can see it's about well over a foot long. And as you saw in the previous video, can articulate. But now I've added something kind of neat to it. Um, but first, I guess we'll take a look in the back and give you a little hint. I took one of the linear actuators from the power angle and stuck it in here. And I've got a neat little um, uh, PVC piston system using the tolerances of PVC to make a little sleeve to help guide the linear actuator. To do what you ask? Well, I've got a little switch up in the cockpit that I installed on the weld alarm. And what do you think happens when I flick it? That's right. Marduk's now got a power hand. I mean, it's not very strong because of, you know, the material it's made out of. And it kind of uh, wobbles around. I could probably do, like, some sliding panels and stuff to help uh, reinforce it, but it's good enough to, you know, punch stuff and give a little bit of a uh, powered oomph and a little bit more motion to her hand so it looks less static when moving it around and probably what I'm going to be doing is have her left hand be the powered one that can do the little waves and stuff and I'll be replacing this hand with something nice and solid Probably same shape as the left hand, but just non-mobile. So it can do some real, really hard punches because with how the um, uh, hip rotation is set up, it more um, uh, brings her uh, right side forward than her left. So working off of the um, uh, little accident I did with uh, installing the torso rotation linear actuator will give a um, uh, bit more of a right hand dominance sort of shtick. So. If you do enjoy my content, be sure to like and subscribe, and put a mitten on your mech today. Bye bye.